What's up guys, welcome to episode 1 of my Spurs Master League on PES 2021. I did ask you guys, do you want to see a last Master League series for this game? And you said, yes, I'm uh, planning to do one season with this. Just one season, uh, maybe like around 10 episodes. And if you guys want to see these episodes often, make sure to smash the like on this video. We need amazing support on this one because I'm not too sure if everybody wants to, um, you know, see a Master League series at this stage of the game. Just a couple of months and we're gonna have a new game. But of course, right now, there's not too much to post about pass um, so this could be a fun little thing to do uh, while we're waiting for the new game so uh, let's go crazy on the first episode there are 2,000 likes and I'll have the next one up uh, in just a few days and of course uh, let me know down below in the comment section uh, if you want to see these uh, episodes uh, more often but we're gonna be starting off today of course we're gonna be playing the preseason tournament and of course it is Spurs so it is gonna be a challenge to uh, try and win a trophy that is my goal uh, in this series I don't care if it's I mean I want to aim a bit higher than the FA Cup. I want to try and challenge for the league. I want to try and challenge uh, for every competition that we are in, of course. Um, so we'll see what happens. Let me know in the comment section if you think I'm going to be able to win something for this club this season. Uh, it is going to be my first one and I think the only one unless, as I said, this series gets insane amount of support. Uh, then we might be doing, uh, you know, two or maybe even three seasons as well, like we did with Juventus. But I went for this guy here as the manager. Um, you cannot make your own uh, guy anymore, which is a bit weird. So I just had to choose one. Uh, so we went for for uh, Mr. Uh, Ara still here and he's gonna be taking over Tottenham um, you know I could have named him Sander uh, that's my name but you know we, we just went for his name he looked a bit uh, I think he was from Spain or Italy as well so it would be weird to name him Sander but he's gonna be the one we're gonna be controlling and uh, this is all of the objectives and stuff uh, that we are getting here a lot of messages because the things are uh, starting up here now and we're about to begin the first uh, preseason games but uh, of course in this first episode there's gonna be a lot of uh, business happening gonna try and maybe sell some players but also bring somebody in and uh, you know we're just getting started here so I just need to get to know the squad and everything like that and uh, this is the strongest 11 that I went for of course Loris the captain goal Doherty are right back Regulon left back Sanchez and Alderweireld in the center back positions and on Bailey Lo Celso Deli Ali in the 10 Bale on the right for this season Son on the left and of course Harry Kane off top in my opinion we have the best striker in the world so hopefully it is time to try and win something but I was looking after the positions where we might be able to strengthen and that is right back I'm not convinced about the Doherty or Oriere as well I'm not convinced about those um, so I went for uh, Hakimi right there trying to send them a decent offer and we'll see what happens of course it is gonna be difficult because he is a very uh, you know popular player with many teams a lot of people want him so yeah we're gonna have to try and make a good offer here and see what they're saying but I think that's gonna be a very nice uh, transfer if we're able to pull it off and I'm also gonna be trying to trade Oriere as well in this deal so Inter can get him I can get Takimi uh, for yeah an extra 30 million as well because he's very expensive but I think he would be worth it you can also see that we do indeed have a decent transfer budget so I'm happy about that and of course there's also gonna be some players that will be set, uh, sold as well um, so do, don't you about that uh, we're not just gonna be buying all the time but the first game is gonna be against AC Milan in this uh, preseason before we do that though I have to list a couple of players the first one I'm gonna be listing is Harry Winks um, I just cannot really see this guy getting too much play time for me uh, the fans haven't been too happy about him uh, you know recently either I've seen that and uh, you know we have so many players in this position so uh, you know just to try and sell someone I listed up this guy I cannot guarantee him any play time um, so we'll see what happens if a team comes in with an offer. I'm probably just going to be accepting it. But of course, if you do need support, Tottenham, let me know in the comment section down below things I shouldn't do. Uh, because I uh, changed up Griezmann's number when I did the Barcelona Master League. And uh, people hated when I changed them to a number 9 uh, from his uh, current uh, kit number, which was 17. So if there's a few things that I should not be doing, let me know in the comment section down below. That's going to trigger some uh, fans. Or if there's a few things that I should do as well, please let me know in the comment section down below I always like to get to know more about the teams that I do in these Master League series I literally ended up uh, liking Juventus so much after that series that we did but uh, here we go we're getting into the first game here and Dele Ali gets a goal after three minutes and you might be noticing a new camera angle here I'm just testing it out this is the first game see if it's gonna be working but uh, it looks like it is working okay here uh, in the opening minutes of this game Doherty though with the assist so maybe I have underestimated this guy but Deli Ali made a very nice turn on his left foot as well. 
He is there in the number 10 position and I've noticed that Deli Ali always when there's like a new manager uh, He usually plays well for like the first few games and then drops off a bit So hopefully he can keep up, uh, keep up his form and here's Bale as well there with a nice pass from a uh, Harry Kane Going for a strong squad of course in this first game here. It is against AC Milan I just want to get to know all the players and Ibra there with the header a bit difficult to defend with this camera angle I've noticed so We'll see if I can adapt to it or if I change it up. Uh, but regular on there, moving forward, uh, finding Son here, who goes past one player into Deli Ali again, who tries to find Gareth Bale. He doesn't get there, but they have messed it up, and Gareth Bale chips the goalkeeper. What is the AC Milan defender doing there? I think I'm not even sure that he noticed that he had Bale right behind him. You cannot be doing that, especially when Bale is there. I think that was uh, Hernandez or something. I'm not too sure. But that is a massive mistake and we get gifted a goal uh, for free here and of course uh, yeah you have to score it as well and Bale there super calm just uh, chips it over Donnarumma and makes it 2-0 in this uh, first half. So a great start to this game, a lot of chances, well Los Celso now up to Bale again. Bale of course what a player he is, we're going to be having him for at least one season, same with Regulon. And then we'll see if we can buy them more if they're going to go back to, uh, to Real Madrid but, uh, but at least for this season we are going to be having them. And now Zlatan Ibrahim but which is to do as well and they get one back and uh, wow it is difficult to defend with this camera angle I really need to try and adapt to it because uh, here there were so many misplaced passes and all over the place the defenders were not in position so yeah difficult to defend and uh, they get one back and while you guys are watching this in the background of course it is just a preseason so it doesn't really matter if we lose or not of course we want to win the games but I feel like uh, this is my time that I can ask some questions here and by the way I'm switching up the camera angle now to vertical which is almost the same angle just a bit more zoomed out um, so we'll see if this one works a bit better especially when defending by the way take a look at this though from Son absolutely amazing player I cannot wait uh, to watch more from him this season uh, but what I want to ask you guys is how long do you want these episodes to be because obviously today is the first episode it is going to be a bit longer than usual um, you know there's a lot of things in the beginning a lot of cutscenes and you know just getting everything started up uh, takes a bit of time uh, usually it's not going to be like that of course uh, but let me know in the comment section down below how long you want to see these episodes I could uh, try and make them of course as long as possible if you want to see all the highlights from the game or do you just want to see like the most key moments from the game maybe like really big chances and just the goals or just a bit more than that let me know in the comment section down below because some of the events episodes that I did could last up to 30 minutes and I saw that some people liked it, some people didn't. Um, so I don't know if, if you guys want to see smaller episodes or shorter episodes in this series, I could make them around maybe 10 to 15 minutes, have like 2-3 games in them and just try and post them you know, more often or I can make them longer, maybe around 30 uh, minutes long and have like 5-6 games and post them a bit, uh, you know, maybe a couple times a week, a bit less than if I were to make them uh, much shorter so please let me know in the comment section down below what you think about that uh, because I have been getting quite a few comments about that on the uh, on the previous series that I did and also just want to mention this uh, to the people that I've been asking where is the Barcelona Master League because I did do two episodes of that series and I stopped it and the reason for that is because I just didn't feel like Barcelona is really a good team to uh, to do a Master League with I feel like there's no challenge really in doing one with Barcelona because they're already such a massive club and wins things every single year uh, even though I could have uh, you know tried to get them a Champions League again and things like that I also played on such a difficult um, difficulty like I played um, you know the games against like the worst teams in the league I uh, used Barcelona and still lost so I, I just messed it all up to be honest um, so that wasn't that great, but once again though, I just didn't have the feeling with Barcelona as a Master League, so I don't think I'm going to be doing more Barcelona series. Of course, Juventus was fun because they haven't really won the Champions League ever, uh, or I mean, they have won it before, but not in many, many years, so that was a cool challenge to try and get uh, them back there. And, uh, you know, as well, in that league, I, I did find the Serie A more interesting than the Spanish League, maybe because of the license as well. Um, so that is the reason that I just uh, ended the Barcelona series after two episodes. I'm sorry 
similar to the ones that Riddle did like that uh, that series, but um, yeah, I just didn't have the feeling to be honest with that uh, club. So uh, with Spurs though, I feel like there's a massive challenge ahead there, and there's uh, things to do. But of course, uh, take a look at this negotiations with Akimi, and I, I just didn't understand that explanation. Really, it said that uh, you cannot really compete with a club like Inter. So I mean, I was really humbled there to get that message by uh, by Inter, just saying that yeah, Inter is a massive club compared to yours. So I've never gotten that message before. Uh, that's the first time I've ever seen that message happen when I've tried to sign a player, and uh, that's you know happening with the uh, with this uh, with the Tottenham uh, Master League in the first episode. So I don't really want to think about that, but you know we, we, there's other right backs, and uh, maybe I can even just keep the heart to see how it does because he did pretty well in that the first game against uh, Milan. So uh, yeah, but now though I'm gonna try and uh, do a yes, just straight swap here with the Leeds United for Rafinha, which is one of my favorite players to watch in real life. What a player! he is and he's got some really good potential as well on this game so I'm gonna see if I can do a swap deal here with Lucas Mora uh, 28 years old for a Rafinha who is uh, I think 23 years old and 81 rating a couple of ratings under Lucas Mora um, so hopefully they uh, do accept that and that uh, we get a bit more of a younger player in pretty similar though to Lucas Mora I would say but Rafinha is left-footed on the right side and yeah, of course, younger as well with more potential. So that's uh, that's what I'm thinking there. So we'll see what happens. But the next preseason game is going to be against Fiorentina. Of course, we did get all the three points in the first game. So if we can win this one, uh, we might have a really good chance at actually getting ourselves a trophy. I mean, it's just a preseason trophy. I've seen all of the memes with the uh, Audi Cup and things like that. Uh, but you know, it's better than, uh, than to win nothing, I guess. So we'll see what happens. And uh, yeah, we have to win this game if you want to have any chance of that. Um, so we'll see what happens here with Fiorentina, who is playing some uh, quick football here. And they've gone through very lucky for them, but Loris comes out, and that is a really great save. We have such a good keeper, so I'm happy that he was uh, aware there of that, and he came out quickly and saved us there from a uh, very early goal for them. But it is Fiorentina who is controlling things there in this first half. Long ball up now, but uh, we win it here. Deli Ali up to Harry Kane who turns, tries to pass it there, but uh, he loses the ball. Uh, but so does Fiorentina. Deli Ali is everywhere and now Kane has found Bergwin here who keeps going, keeps running at the defense here and he's not able to cut it back into the strikers so that is pretty much the only chance we've had so far not really an exciting game yet uh, Alderweireld the wins the header there and once again Dele Ali is absolutely everywhere on the pitch and now Son has a lot of space here to run into nobody is trying to get the ball off him and he goes for the shot as well but the shot is very weak and that is not going to be troubling the keeper. So we end the first half here with a uh, yeah serious serious result. And I'm going to try and uh, change up things now with Bale coming on. See if he can make an impact here. And Anton Bale finds Bergwijn. And nice turn here by Bergwijn. Look at this. This is great by Steven Bergwijn. Goes for the shot as well. And what a goal that is. What a player. Steven Bergwijn gets his uh, first goal of the preseason and that was all made by him. He gets the ball there from Endon Bele and that fake shot turn is amazing. He holds up a couple of defenders as well. That is such a difficult goal to score. Very nice uh, goal there and of course gets a bit lucky with the shot but that one there deserved to go in. What a run here by Steven Bergwijn. Drop a like for that uh, goal. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far with this team. And, uh, you know, we have so many amazing players. We, it's just all about trying to um, get them into their full potential. Because, obviously, this squad is uh, filled with absolute superstars. Um, so, it's all about trying to make that work and um, see how far we can go. Gareth Bale as well there with a dipping shot. I love when uh, he does his dipping shots. It's difficult for the goalkeeper. It's his trademark uh, shooting style. And uh, the keeper saves it there. But uh, just about now 82 minutes over. Just a few minutes away from another massive three points. And Alderweire, look at that tackle. What a player. And now he passes it up to Bale here. Nice turn by Bale. Does he have any more pace left late in the game? And that is a bad tackle by Fiorentina. They are getting frustrated. They haven't really been able to do anything in this whole game apart from that uh, first early chance so I do understand that they're getting a bit frustrated but uh, I mean I do not really want any injuries either now though son last chance of the game 
And that could have been a very nice goal, but the keeper makes a great save. We do end up winning the 1-0. That is two wins in a row, two wins against Italian teams as well. And Bergwijn, of course, gets them out of the match with his amazing solo run goal. And Milan has also beat Real Madrid, so we are now definitely number one in our group. And the last game is going to be against Real Madrid. If we lose against Real Madrid, we might still be in, uh, ending up, um, you know, losing out on this preseason trophy. But just a draw will be enough against Real Madrid and we get ourselves a nice little trophy as well but take a look at this what is going on why can I not get any players with Spurs this is not good Rafinha is not going to be joining them at least yet um, I'm going to try and make another offer for him later because I really want to see this guy join but he wasn't convinced I would use him in the right role obviously I would be using Rafinha a lot especially when I also offer them Lucas Mora but um, yeah very disappointing that they did not uh, accept that at all so uh, yeah, I really wanted him, but I, I haven't uh, given up yet. I might go for another bigger uh, bid eventually. But uh, yeah, this is another player that I really want to try and sign, and that is Drew Bellingham. What a talent. I mean, in my opinion, uh, yeah, I, I would say right now the biggest talent in the world. What he's doing at his age is unbelievable. Playing in the Euros at 18, and what a season he had with Dortmund as well. So if I can bring this guy in, I would be very happy. He's got some unbelievable potential as well. I think he's going to grow really quickly. I don't think it's going to take him long to get like five extra ratings. So uh, yeah, we are going to be trying to sign a Jude Bellingham. He's not going to be the most expensive in the world as well because of his age. Um, you know, at least on this game, it's not uh, going to be that expensive. In real life, it probably would be extremely expensive because of his age. But, um, you know, we'll see what happens. He's a 70 rated as well though. But of course, as I said, he's going to go up really fast. So hopefully we can get him and at least get one signing done in this episode. But please let me know in the comments section down below what other signings what do you guys think we should try and uh, go for I, I think still that we should be trying to get a, a new right back uh, I could try and go for another offer for Akimi, but there is also other options which we could be looking at but you guys saw the trophy there Real Madrid is here and if we can just get to a draw that is going to be enough to get ourselves this international cup a trophy which would you know give us a boost going into the the season as well into the league and um, that would be very nice to start things off with that one uh, so here we have Real Madrid what a team that is it is going to be a difficult one by far the biggest challenge yet this is a team that I'm going for and of course if you saw that I'm uh, yeah changed up the uh, tactics a bit before this game from a more of a possession based uh, attacking style to a counter attacking style I want things to go a bit quicker up front so we'll see what happens if that pays off in this game but Real Madrid here starting things off Carvajal finds Valverde in the middle but Deli Ali is there of course as usual we do not win the second ball here though when Karim Benzema holds up the ball and finds Hazard there and that is 1-0 for Real Madrid after four minutes and you can just see the players that are playing against this is going to be a tough match that uh, hold up play there by Benzema is what he does so well and uh, yeah, how can we not win that second ball there though? And Dombele has to be there. Deli Ali tried and that that is just world class by uh, by Benzema there to hold up the ball against Alduvarel. And of course Doherty, they're not following the run of Hazard either. So once again, I'm still, you know, thinking about uh, a new right back. So we'll see. I'm not totally convinced about it. Uh, but here though, Hyung Min Son has picked up the ball. Bit of space here. Goes for the shot, but straight at Courtois. Um, so uh, yeah, that's not going to be troubling him at all. Uh, Davidson Sanchez there in defense, not looking extremely confident on the ball. And Anton Belli has played it away. And Real Madrid has stolen it. You cannot make these mistakes against Real Madrid because you are going to get punished. We are down 2-0 after 20 minutes. And this is much more difficult already than those uh, two earlier teams that we had in this tournament. One mistake and that's a nice ball from Hazard into Rodrigo. Who finds Benzema and of course the positioning of Loris here isn't that great either but I'm not going to be blaming Loris here. Defense all over the place with the passing has been horrendous so far so we're going to have to try and fix up here. And Dombele once again a misplaced pass. What is going on here? Karim Benzema going forward. Somehow they still have the ball. Eden Hazard into Rodrigo now the youngster who scores and it is 3-0. Nil after 30 minutes in this game. What a horrible start that we've had here. And uh, yeah, it's not looking good for this uh, preseason tournament now. Uh, the goal difference is now in Real Madrid's favor as well. Um, so that is uh, that is pretty annoying. That is a nice pass there though by, uh, by Ian Hazard. And of course the finish as well 
by uh, young Rodrigo is uh, is also really good. That is also a potential guy that I want to try and uh, at least loan maybe for the season. Uh, pretty similar player to uh, Lucas Moura and of course uh, Rafinha as well. Um, still, you know, very young as well. So a lot of potential there. So we'll see if we can maybe try and move for him. But here they come again. Rodrigo! And now he misses his first chance of the second half. Uh, if he scored that, it would have been starting to look really embarrassing. If it's not already. And um, now Real Madrid just, uh, you know, controlling the ball. They don't have to hurry up here or do anything. It is literally their preseason and they are up at 3-0. So we're going to have to try and get the ball there and create something. We don't have too much time left if we can do anything here at the end. A bit of a bad pass there by uh, one of the players and uh, you know we have to try and uh, pressure which is what Son does. He's stolen the ball and uh, there's a lot of space here for Lucas Moura to run into. He's very quick. He's just come onto the pitch as well and that is a good finish. And uh, thinking about it, maybe I should not be trying to swap as, you know, Lucas Moura with another player. Because obviously he is still a very good player and I think a lot of Tottenham fans do like him. So maybe that's already a mistake that I've done trying to get rid of Lucas Moura. That is at least a very good goal by him. Nice by Sander. Great pressure to win the ball. And of course, uh, yeah, you, you're not going to be giving, uh, you know, uh, Lucas Moura that amount of space. Especially when he's just come on into the second half. He's going to run past you there. Which is good, so uh, maybe now we can try and get one more. I think if we can score one more goal, the uh, goal difference might be even as well to take us into extra time. But uh, there Ramos gets lucky, just able to get the ball before Lucas. And uh, there it is, the end of the game. 3-1 loss, and we lose out on this uh, trophy, which is very annoying. We could have won it, of course. It is just a preseason trophy, but that would have given us a bit, bit of a boost going into the season, into the league as well. And we end up actually third. What is that? Even Milan is above us. One better in a goal difference. So, uh, yeah, it ended up being a bad game. But, of course, Real Madrid is a good team. So, I'm not going to think about it too much. I got to learn quite a bit of things there in that preseason. So, we'll see if we can build on that going into the Premier League, which is going to be starting uh, very soon. And, of course, I did change up some of the tactics before the Real Madrid game, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Uh, so I'm gonna experiment a bit more, see what I can do uh, to get things going for the first uh, league game, which is gonna be happening in the next episode. But Jude Bellingham, finally some positive things in this first episode. Burris and Dortmund have accepted our offer and uh, Bellingham just wanted a bit more wage uh, per week, so that is no problem. We are gonna be accepting that and that is the first signing I have made as a Spurs manager and I think it is gonna be a really good signing as well. Of course, still very young, still very very low rated but I think that he is going to be adapting quickly and pretty much going straight into the team I think he's at least going to be on the bench and we'll see how he does and uh, holds up in the Premier League as well of course a different uh, league than the Bundesliga but I think that this guy can handle anything uh, that comes at him so I'm very excited to see him sign for us drop a like for this signing guys and of course let me know down below in the comment section the transfer window is still open we're still going to be able to have the next episode to make a couple of more signings there is still more signing someone to do and you know sell a couple of players as well but Jude Bellingham is excited to join us there which is uh, nice to see congratulations on signing a player so this is uh, very good uh, it's official now Jude Bellingham has joined the squad it has now been announced on social media and everything and uh, he signs for us for around the 20 million which in my opinion is a very nice fee for him he's also going to be having number 13 of course if Harry Winks gets sold he is going to be having the number 8 shirt as well which is is a perfect number for him. I want to make him a box-to-box -box midfielder. I, I feel like this guy could be the new Steven Gerrard, you know, as Erling Haaland said, you are the new Stevie G. Uh, so I'm going to be changing up his training settings here from a whole player into a box-to-box, -box, a proper box-to-box, -box, defending, attacking everywhere on the pitch. And uh, I think that this guy could literally do a job in any single uh, position uh, that I'm going to be playing him. So I'm really excited about that. Drop a like for the first episode. If you want to see the next one tomorrow or in just a couple of days, I want to see insane support in this one. If there's no support, then, you know, I'm not going to be continuing the series uh, because then obviously people do not want to see it. So let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. Thank you once again so much for watching. The league begins in the next episode. So make sure to tune in and I'll see you then. Thank you guys once again so much for the amazing support. And I'll see you soon. Peace out.